Warning, NSFW, siblings of porn stars, have you ever watched porn of your siblings and what was it like? My best friend from high school stumbled across a film of his parents fucking. All of the computers in his house had a file share folder between each of the family computers. For some reason it was just sitting in that file share folder. Not related to a porn star, but a buddy of mine and I stumbled on a porn video of his mom and his uncle, the husband of his mom's sister. I think we were 14, and he was mad at his mom because she had recently kicked his dad out of the house and filed for a divorce. I believe he was going through her stuff to get back at her somehow, and we found an unmarked video, so of course we popped it in out of curiosity. What unfolded on the screen was a titillating homemade blowjob where you couldn't see the face of the guy. It was awesome for me, his mom was hot, until the guy stood up and we both clearly saw the uncle. By the time the uncle flipped her over and started going to town, I was storing mental pictures for later. Five minutes in, I was wondering why he was still watching, but one look in his direction told me he was growing more and more furious with each passing frame. I ended up leaving shortly thereafter, and he waited for his mom to come home from work. When she walked in and asked him what's wrong, he just hit the play button on the VCR. He ended up telling his dad and his aunt, divorce proceedings went a lot more easily for his dad, and the uncle found himself divorced, cut off from the family. TLDR, my friend and I found a homemade porn video of his mom and her sister's husband. Friend blows up his family, and I end up with enough mental pictures to have some super weird faps. Since this seems to be straying into close to sibling territory, I'll chime in. This was my sister's best friend in HS. She'd been over at my house, done sleepovers, hung out, I knew her well. She and my sister were pretty tight. Anyway, I am home from college one summer, maybe I was like 21? Whatever, after a night at the bars with some friends and one has the brilliant idea to go to an adult bookstore. This was late 80s, for reference sake. We go in, and everyone's joking around, looking at the stuff. I go over to a rack of magazines and lo and behold, there's my sister's best friend on the cover of Gent. Now. I didn't know what the hell even Gent was, but of course I look. It turns out that Gent is a magazine dedicated to women with enormous tits, and she had some enormous tits. I am amazed at what I see, here's this girl I've known since we were both little kids, naked and spread all over the glossy pages of this smut rag. Turns out she did a few other mags and some videos, this was when VHS was starting to really take off. It turns out that she was very popular and her images and videos are floating around the internet even today. Not quite what you were asking, but I will share my story. A few years ago my older brother messaged me and explained he found some compromising pictures of me on some porn sites. I was super worried and embarrassed, I have never done any kind of porn but was still irrationally concerned that somehow nude pictures of me got out. He sent me a link to these pictures and this person looks identical to me. Has the same haircut, same facial structure, eye color, exact same body shape. Everything is the same down to a mole in the same place on the face. I was freaking out initially, thinking that maybe I was drugged and forced to do this? Or that my memory was wiped after having done porn? So I started looking for this person to see if I could find more stuff they were in. The initial side was incest porn, so I searched through all the incest porn in the world. Found a few videos and was finally able to convince my brother and myself it wasn't me only because this dude's dick was way bigger than mine. Edit, this sister fucking fiend is now referred to as my doppelbanger. Remember when the original iPad had the slideshow feature? None of your photos were ever safe or secure. If you were locked out of the iPad there was a button you could press to start a slideshow of all the pictures you had saved on there. Well when I was about 12 I had to use my parents bathroom and found the iPad. Little Omi went to a Christian school as well so my sext was don't put your DCK on anything so I didn't know exactly what it was. You know when you're bored and you just want to look at or read something to pass the time, so I grabbed their iPad and went into slideshow mode. It started off very calm and nice, just family pictures of our vacation in Mexico and reunions, then all of a sudden it went into some full on 30 shit with my parents going at it. I had no idea what sex was really so I just kept watching like an idiot and now have every image engraved into my brain once my figured out exactly what they were doing. You look at your parents differently when you know what kind of weird shit they be doing in the room while you're asleep. These are forever with my memory and I wish this upon none of you. This didn't happen to me but I had to share this story because it's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I'm in a Facebook group for women supporting women. One day a chick posts about how her dad found her porn and he's uninvited her to the family dinner that she and her family have. She's one of like 20 kids, all full siblings. This will be important in a minute. She asks us if she should still go and we all tell her yes. She promises an update. A week later she tells us that she went. 
Her dad acted super weird and angry the whole time and her mom got suspicious so she started jumping to conclusions, asked if he was having an affair. He explodes and says, I found your daughter on a porn site. Five of the original chick's sisters leave. Turned out six of his kids were doing porn. I wouldn't have believed it but she posted pictures of her family and such. It was amazing to hear about. Not a sibling, sorry op but it is my cousin. I had no idea she is a somewhat pop. It was funny bringing my boyfriend to a Christmas family party and he instantly recognized her. So that's how I found out. Edit for those who are asking. Me and my man are pretty close so almost immediately when he saw her he whispered it in my ear. I of course believe him as I was wondering why a 20 year old was bringing a 50 year old guy to the party as her boyfriend. It clicked. Side story, me and my so were watching porn together, for science of course. We happened to see her on the front page again. Clicked on it. I can confirm tiny girls make the dick look bigger. I somehow became the system admin for a company I worked for back in 2000. I could fix computers, get the bugs off, make them run again and not really qualified to do it but I already worked there and was good at it. After a while, my co-workers started asking me to fix their home computers and you see stuff when you mess with people's home computers. The receptionist at the front desk with big boobs who showed lots of cleavages and everyone flirted with. Well turns out she knew how to use those boobs and I could never unsee everyone else's come all over them, and I was the only guy in the office not fucking her. One of my good friends in the office who had a hot wife turned out to be swingers with tons of home movies with large casts. His wife was just as hot undress as I had imagined, but those parties were odd and there were other people I knew at those parties. The bookkeeper liked really fat women, I could never look at him the same way. The angry asshole who ran logistics and purchasing liked the dick. I never would have guessed he was gay. There are more and honestly I regret looking. Some wanted me to see others would have been horrified and I feel bad for betraying their trust. It changed how I looked at them and how I felt about them in a subtle way and there are just things that should stay behind closed doors. None of my new secret knowledge helped me bang the receptionist. If anything it hurt my chances because I did not want her to know what I saw. I wasn't a family member, but I had a high school friend, whom I was very close with. She had a lot of personal issues at home and school, and it came to a point where once she left to college, it was like she never existed. She deleted her Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even disconnected her phone number. Two years after high school, I was on the hub, and was just going through some random videos. I came across a video that really struck me on the side menu. The actress looked very familiar, but I couldn't pinpoint why she looked so familiar. I decided to open up the video. And holy shit, as soon as she started talking in the video I instantly shivered. It was her. It was one of those amateur type videos like Casting Couch, where she auditioned. The added on date put it as 6 months after going to college. I felt very weird about it since I personally knew her very well and just called it a night, with no Joe. Next day, I opened up my laptop and had to reconfirm what I saw, to make sure I wasn't dreaming. I texted my friends to get their opinions and they were all shocked. We've tried reaching out to her. But I suppose she's just moved on and doesn't want to go back to the past. Not a sibling, but through family I'm related to Emma Starr, and have seen her at numerous family occasions. I grew up knowing her by a different name and she babysat me quite a bit when I was little. The family found out after my cousin, her former so, father to her son who I grew up with, was working at an adult store. He was stocking the shelves of DVDs, and found her on the cover. It's awkward now to see her. She was really sweet when I was little, and now I've seen her get gang banged. Kinda relevant. Long story. We had a neighbor kid who was always dying to be in our friend's circle. He was pretty overweight, redheaded, so as you can imagine he had trouble making friends. One day he invited us over to watch a porn, we are like 11 years old. Of course being a bunch of young lads we jumped all over the opportunity. His parents weren't home, we went inside and into his downstairs where he had the movie in some weird black case with other movies. VHS format of course. What we watched that day was truly horrifying and why he showed it to us still to this day is a question we cannot answer. This was a video of his mom, his dad, and his uncle. Yes that's right, it was a porn of his mom and dad with his mom's brother getting in on the action. We unfortunately to our horror, watched the entire home movie, highlighting scenes such as my brother casually fingering me while I chain smoke cigarettes and my dad rimming my mom's brother's asshole. His parents were not fit, or attractive. It was a sloppy, disgusting, display, that I wish I could suffer head trauma to avoid remembering in such glaring detail. Words cannot properly describe the looks on our faces whenever we ran into his mom or dad. We did our best to avoid them for the duration of our childhood but sometimes you can avoid your neighbors. 
I almost felt guilty when I would run into one of them. Like I did something very naughty, but I was disgusted at the same time. My brother and and sister-in-law used the money from amateur porn to pay for their big fancy wedding. I avoided it like the plague. A few months after my sister-in-law's untimely death, my husband was sitting beside me browsing 4chan and suddenly got very pale and quiet. Someone had posted a big photo dump of lewd stills of my sister-in-law, and her obituary. Stupid dead bitch got pounded and used for months to afford her ugly wedding dress. Dumb whore died from too many drugs, good riddance. The whole thread was very excited to be jerking off to a dead girl. I looked because I was horrified and just hoping that someone was posting her obit with a different girl's nudes for a laugh. It was 100% her. I suppose one or more of the penises probably belonged to my brother, but I'd. Honestly I was just so disgusted that someone who must have known her personally was gleefully posting all of those stills and the details on how she died. It really messed me up for a while. Lost a lot of faith in humanity that day.